Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play. So we are still in the castle. We're gonna go to the Quidditch pitch and we'll test our broomstick out in a time trial and see how we do. And it's supposed to unlock upgrades for our broomstick. Then we'll talk to Professor Fig. He has returned and we can discuss if we can take the book with us to the map room. <laughs> can we fly now? Yes, we can. Revelio. Hmm, no chests in any- ooh, there we go. We do need to head back to our room of requirements and identify some of the items that we have. Ooh, there's a Merlin trial up on that cliff. Oh, we'll be... Going soon. Hey you, Ravenclaw. And uh, you don't have a name either. What you're Slytherin? Amelda Rays. Albi Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again, got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I'm not super confident because I don't know what we're supposed to do. Okay, so it's just through the hoops we go, I guess. Oh, we can get speed boost from those? Oh! Okay, not so straightforward, but. What is her speed? That one was close, almost didn't make it. Steady now. Success. Ah, no. I think I missed one. Will I be docked for time? 
The inverted control of this flying... No, yeah, there we go. Messed it up again. Oh. We did miss the other, other one, but we missed that one. Her time doesn't seem that hard. We only have three more rings. Okay, I'm freaking out about nothing. Nitroing the whole way. Did it. She's not fast. Aha! Brilliant. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah. Uh, fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Okay, not not too bad. We can go back to Alby and claim our upgrade. Let's stay clear of the castle. Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Rebellion. Uh, can we stop? Oh, it's locked. What about this one? Ah, sneaky chest. Okay, we'll be right back. Give us a second to sneak. I do wonder if we can do this one. Hmm. Don't think we can do this pillar. There's a field guide. Revelio. Can we pick this up while on the broomstick? Uh, we're going too fast. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Apparently... Can we? No, we have to get off. Made with the leaves of alley hosty tree, this fudge is delicious concoction that causes uncontrollable laughter. Ah. Strange place to find it in, but let's continue. Revelio. Oh, those are the animals down there. Ah, cannot fly now. What is this? A performance? We're getting a twinkle here. Oh. 
You didn't see anything. Revelio. It might be inside. Nope, it's outside. We see it. Hogshead Dock. These dock outside Hogshead Inn offer a pleasant place to sit and relax. If one can do well, it's only a stone's throw away from whatever nefarious going on may be occurring in this notoriously shady inn. Revelio. Shady inn, huh? Let's check it out. There's a demi-guy statue. We still haven't unlocked how to interact with that one yet. Mounted Hog's Head. This mounted hog's head rolls eye and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the Hog's Head. Well, it's pretty big. Revelio. All right, no more sound. Uh, it's restricted there. Anyways. Not much of a dark art. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. So, we won't be getting it right away. Speed. Well, we can probably still we looking for today? sell some stuff with him. We need to wear that glove. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. It's better than what we have currently. looking for today thanks for stopping by hope to see you again wait Revelio. too much sporting needs run by the amiable abby weeks the shop sells all manner of wizarding sports good including the latest broom models gossip around town's albie is himself albie himself is working on a number of broom enhancements yes we are helping him All right, middle of the night. Let's take a look at the map. Quest galore. There's a side quest. No. I think I see a, a just flu flame, I guess. There was a side quest here that we bumped into. But the outside world can wait. We're gonna go speak to Figs.
Alrighty, he should be back in his office. Maybe we have to wait for day, but let's see. We do I was not. Hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes. Which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Where are the two of you headed? No, don't come. To think it was beneath us all this time. If only you were here to see this. That would be a reference to his wife. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. 
Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. All right, so one thing that's bothering us is the fact that we're wearing gloves. I forgot to transmog them off of our hands and uh, they don't look quite nice in the cutscenes. I mean, there are some nice variations. Not saying gloves are ugly, just that we're indoors. Oh, this spiky one. Wow. We'll show off our hands. So, exploring the tower for the first trial. Uh, I think we can learn a few more spells before we do that. So two assignments to tackle, a uh, side quest I've already picked up, and there's also more side quests on the map uh, that we can take a look at. There's the second part of the flying trial, which I'm interested in, which we need to find a place called Iron something. Uh, this tower is way to the north here. Pit upon Ford. Upper Hogs Field, which we have not visited. We should visit there first, actually. There's a lot more to the map in the south, but I think we're at the tip top of the map in the north here at the edge. So we'll do a bit of exploration next time. This is the tomb Forbidden Forest, which means we can maybe do follow the butterfly on the way there. That might make more sense. We'll fly out and uh, get a better view of the Forbidden Forest from above and uh, see what we can do there. But before we do, I think we do have to tackle both assignments. We need a focus potion, a maxima potion, and a Dora's potion. So I think the plan now is that we head over to our room of requirements and set up our potion tables, set up our 
Brewing stations, plants. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you have done that, come and see me. And we get another spell, another assignment. Is the requirement for that easier? Because these are... Oh! These are supposed to be popped. And I think Glacius is used for some of the Merlin's quest trials. Okay, first let's identify our items. A few of them are upgrades, a few of them are downgrades. I'm gonna put the ones that are better on. Wait, what's the other item? Hmm, this goes with our Spyro. Alright, we're gonna need to conjure up some stuff. Medium, large. We can get seven of these? Let's move to the other room, perhaps. Guess we'll put it down for now. They're just so much stuff. Chopping station, plant ingredients. I assume, yeah, we are allowed to have three. Ah, seven total tables allowed. Well, three medium pots. That is long. Maybe I don't... Hold on. Maybe I don't want... One large. And we also don't want so many photos. Go away. Careful not to undo our tables. Ooh, this is gonna be a tight, tight aim. I know we can do it. There we go. Ooh. There's a mirror. Oh my god, this is gonna be difficult. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, now we want to...
Yeah, we want the two. Because we have limitations on how many stations we can have. So we want the big one. Can you fit over here? Uh, we shouldn't have had it sit on top of a rug. Hold on. Gotta clear some space first. Aim! I think we might have gotten everything. Okay. Can I move it? Actually, why don't we put you in the middle of this space? That's enough for now. We have one such station. Speaking of our one such station, where do we put it? We can vanish that. Can I end it? Empty it. plant here. Oh, we don't have seeds. Okay, that's fine. Um, we can plant small plants in big pots as well. The limitation only works its way down. I would like to get one of these with five small pots for just the small plants. Then we can get two more. I guess we can get two more large. Like, if anything, we're going to do our seven. It's going to be... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, undo. Snap you in place. And then we need some potion stations. We didn't buy these, huh? Alright, we'll live with one. Small one for now. We need... One of these. We need more than one potion station.
All right, we'll buy some seeds next time we're... Do we get anything here? Mystery ingredients. Fertilizer is ready. This one's not placed correctly. Move to the back. You're off too. Snap, snap, snap. Trying to squeeze this in. To give us a walking passage in the middle. Nope. Ah, missed it. Yeah, this is pretty good. All right, our factory's going. Uh, we need to get by those hopping tables in the future. Let's do our requirement for the assignments. We want to first chug a focus potion and then use maximum. So we basically chug all three. Focus first. That's the one. It grants us what? Spell cooldown. Cool. Excellent. We're probably just going to fast travel to him. Wait, where is our professor? Gotta go to potion class during the day. Did someone talk to us? Rebellion. There is a twinkle, so there is a field guy that we're missing. Okay, so let's speed up time. Points for Gryffindor. How are your revenue going along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Okay. And this would be the opposite of Akio. So we're not retrieving, we're pushing them away. 
Depulsor! Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Revelio. Alrighty. So we had a chance to set up our room requirements. We learned a new spell. There is many more new spells to do. Uh, assignments as well. I think for us, getting Glacius would definitely be something we're interested in. And yeah, we have a chance to fly, which is always fun. We have to set up the pots and buy seeds from Hogsmeade. So I think this will have to wait. And most likely we'll go pop the balloons, learn our spell, then fly our way out to the world map and start heading north. We can stop by the side quest like Fall of the Butterfly and eventually make our way to the tower. That's going to be in a while. We also want to buy some seeds when we get a chance to go to Hogsmeade. So until next time, bye.